The summer I turned pretty should return for season three immediately, because as the viewers, we all have our questions about the future, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited for what's to come. So I couldn't help myself and took a look at the third book. Today, I'm here to tell you what happens in the books to let you know what will happen to Belly. But first, I want to share my thoughts on the famous love triangle, meaning that the first half of this video will be spoiler free. As you know, season two left us with another heartbreak, and this time, Conrad is the one who got his fair share of heartbreaks in this show. Belly finally decided to be with Jer, and I believe she just made a huge mistake. I know most of you would choose Jer over Conrad, but for me, things are a little different. I like both of them, and the thing that's important to me is the chemistry between the characters. Even though I won't deny the fact that Jer and Belly have passion in their relationship, this just doesn't seem right to me. I feel like their relationship is based on physical attributes and hormones, and that's it. On the other hand, when I see Belly with Conrad, I feel excited for both of them because I can just feel the pure love and its complexity. You may tell me that Conrad is a toxic young man who's not generous enough to share his true feelings, and I agree. But I also know that's because of his way of caring for others. He always tries to handle things on his own, and he was the one who constantly kept his brother from getting hurt. As you can understand, he's not used to sharing his feelings, and instead, he tends to oppress them because he never gave himself the chance. I believe he needs to feel safe, and he needs a partner who would help him to open up. Belly was no help through his darkest times. She literally made a scene at his mother's funeral, and she never understood why he wanted to break up in the first place. I believe Conrad is the most mature character. He just needs to work on his feelings and how to talk about them. I think Jer got used to being looked after, and he's more free than his brother. He didn't struggle as much as him, and even though in season two he tried his best to help Conrad and Belly, we should not forget what he has done in the first season. He intentionally sabotaged their blossoming feelings, and I don't think Belly would feel something for him if he hadn't taken the first and the following steps. Now that I got it out of my system, I can talk about the final book, We'll Always Have Summer. There will be lots of spoilers here, so be warned. In the final book, we see that Belly and Jer become a serious couple and decide to go to the same college. Remember how Jer took her to his college? I guess that worked for Belly. That sounds nice until Belly finds out that Jerry actually hooked up with someone else while they were on a break. Jerry was always the most flirty one, the boy loves to love. But I never expected him to cheat on Belly. Anyways, Belly understandably leaves him, but it's Jer, and he has this charm that can convince people successfully. So he begs her to be with her, and moreover, he proposes to her. If he was gonna marry her, then why did he cheat on her in the first place? This reminds me of Ross and Rachel, and I don't think I can take another we were on a break drama. Break or not, I can't understand how he did this to her. He took the risk to make his own brother miserable just to be with Belly because he loved her. What happened to him? Later on, Belly decides to marry him, and I think her decision-making process is different than most of the people because as far as I can see, she never makes the right calls that are necessary and vital. Anyways, they get prepared for their wedding at Cousins Beach, but then she learns Conrad is living there and her feelings for him begins to revive. At this point, I don't know what to say. I think she never lost those feelings. She just wasn't brave enough to be with Conrad because Jer seemed like the safest option at that time. But I always knew that he's the one for her and vice versa. Belly calls off the wedding and she goes to study abroad. Then Conrad begins to send her letters and they eventually become a thing once again. We see that they get married to each other, and this is the end of this love triangle. I'm actually happy she ended up with Conrad instead of Jer. But I'm sorry it happened this way. I always wanted her to be a good friend to Jer, and I feel like now it's too late for everything. There's too much drama to be friends. Don't you agree? I guess we'll see how things will turn out. I wonder if they will decide to change a few things for the show. What do you think will happen in season three? Will Belly finally make the right choice? 
let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you soon.